ad hoc report. Right here, I'm looking at the query currently showing by state, is showing sales for some fiscal periods according to the filter selection. And dimension, I can come to this drop down list and just pick any of the options. And these options are easily customizable. I'm going to choose salesperson for now. Let me add one more period to this query. Let's take a look to see how Color Legend works. Right now we're set to look at sales and this is the, the automatic color range. This only applies to the actual amounts, not to the totals. That's configurable. If you wanna change the Color Legend to manual, I'm gonna choose manual now, zero to 200,000. These other filters right now, the top one relates to this box, so the salesperson. And I have all salespeople here, and I could unselect some of them. And this total sales is actually the range of values available on this column. If I want to only see salespeople with at least $100,000, I put the number in here, press apply. And then it filters out salespeople that did not meet that criteria. Let's see the variances from period over period. I'm gonna choose sales and select sales, sales variance and sales variance percentage. What if I wanna see the Coral Legend based on variances? I can select variance percentage. Let's make automatic. So here it highlights which ones are growing the most or decline the most in variance, variance percentage. Let's drill down and see more details. I'm gonna click the mouse over here and click the plus signal. Now I have a new column and I can pick what I wanna see in this new column. Let's say sales by salesperson by warehouse. Let's drill down further. Let's put the mouse over. Now I can slice by a new dimension. Let's say customer. Now, when you have three different dimensions, like in this case, depending how much data you have, this query can become really huge. So it usually is a good idea to start filtering this report. Let's only look at customers with at least 100,000 in sales. Another way of filtering is you can pick any of these data points. Let's select this salesperson and click keep only or exclude. I'm gonna click keep only for now. And let's say I wanna drill down further. And let's say I wanna see now. So to simplify this query, I'm going to collapse the year and I want to add quantity sold. And let's sort this in a descending order by sales amount. And there it is. By just using the drop-down lists here, you have 10 dimensions on this, on each of these lists. There are, there are more than 10 measures here. So that goes to 100,000 combinations just by using these drop-down lists. And when you look at the additional filters here, the total possible combination you can do with this query is over a million ways to slice and dice your data. What's more, if you select data points in this report and you choose transaction details, you're gonna see at the bottom all the invoice details associated to those data points selected. If you want to explore this list in more detail, you can go to the next tab, 5.1 ad hoc details. You see the same information now with more real estate. Thanks for watching.